Be happy to. Get on. Oh, you kind, mister. If it yeah, be so kind to take me to Legras, that's where I'm from. That's where my people is from. Fine. Don't normally trust no outside man. No fence, mister. Just don't trust them much. Right, all right, ma'am. I don't trust them much either. You seem like a horse rider? Yeah, your whole life, I bet. Horse don't help much in Lagrano. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. Last horse we butt, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water. Another gator came in, took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time. It's took come out with a rifle on him. And there's no word of lies. Jesus. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? Legrath? Well, that's not like this. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to settle. You think when was the last time you spent the week in the same bed? How long ago was that? I asked you. Bet it was a long time. No offense. But I bet it's been a long time for you. We getting close. Don't die or not. on account of you being so kind. Hope I'd never have to be on that horse again, dang animals. Good luck with the wildlife, miss. You be well. I ain't gonna forget what you did for me, no. Hey there.
You seen a dog, a big dog around here? Dog? I don't know what I seen, but they got it trapped in the barn there. Okay. Hold your side! I am holding it! Hold yours! <laughs> What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Let's go. I pray that thing's a goner.
Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. I never seen one of those before, and I hope I don't again. Amen to that. Hello, mister. Guess you like your meat extra, extra bloody, huh? Hey there, girl. Just for terms. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. Man eaten lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron. Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar, and they... Well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is from old boy. Well, it's him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado. As green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill.
Okay. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them, just... Is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Shit! Well, seeing as I'm here, I'm, I'll do what I can for you. You're dead. Probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Damn the debt. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you. I don't know nothing about kindness.
You there? Can you help? Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Get you back. Yeah, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. You better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how. Big and strong you are. Spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Weren't but a snake that spooked him. <clears throat> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. 
My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard, I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Shooting, senor. Thank God for you, mister. Le debo la vida. Good luck with it. Que alivio. Yep.
Are we going to do it's it's a nasty world out there and it's catching up with us I, I i'm too old to be alone and too scared to remain here it's very worrying very worrying indeed i'm so afraid i'm so very afraid i, I i'm not sleeping i'm not sleeping at all are you thinking about leaving i have no money I am old. I am frightened. I am so frightened. Excuse me, but everyone has gone crazy. Well, hi. Place is on edge.
Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And not inside you, Link. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us is past. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't bribe, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out. And he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. 
What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. Uh -huh. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! Noise! Tins. What the hell have you done, Dutch? Someone kill this bastard! Come on! Mike is going after those papers! Let's find him and get out of here! Life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly. 
But not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right. Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Micah, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. 